Welcome to the concluding video in our series, where we bring together the insights from our previous discussions on selecting the most suitable migration strategy or approach. During our conversation today, we will take a comprehensive look at the various selection criteria associated with each of the four migration approaches. To wrap up this video series, we will provide a summarized comparison of the selection criteria, along with their respective weights, highlighting the capabilities of the four migration strategies in relation to various factors that should be taken into account. We've established some basic criteria to compare the four strategies. These criteria include factors such as how quickly the project is completed, its cost, complexity, and the level of risk involved, etc. When it comes to project execution time, going with the Big Bang data-centric migration gets things done the fastest. On the flip side, if you choose phased migration with bulk synchronization, it's going to take more time because of the added complexities in syncing a lot of data at once. Talking about complexity, starting with Big Bang data-centric migration is straightforward. But as you move to phased approaches, things get more complicated. You have to sync data in parallel, making the whole project more intricate compared to the simpler Big Bang method. Considering risk, going for Big Bang data-centric migration has the highest risk. The risk decreases as you move to Big Bang user-centric, then phased migration with manual synchronization, and the least risk is in phased migration with bulk synchronization. So, it's about managing risk smartly. Downtime is crucial too. Big Bang data-centric migration needs the most downtime. The other strategies, like Big Bang user-centric, phased migration with manual or bulk synchronization, are designed to minimize this downtime, making them less disruptive options. Effectively handling project costs is crucial, and the Big Bang data-centric approach can be executed with minimal budget. Conversely, strategies such as the Big Bang user-centric approach, phased migration with manual synchronization, and phased migration with bulk synchronization incur higher costs. When it comes to skills, choosing the Big Bang data-centric migration allows you to handle things with less skilled people. However, as the process becomes more complex, you'll need highly skilled and experienced professionals to manage the intricacies of phased migration with bulk synchronization. Managing a large amount of data works well with phased migration and bulk synchronization. It's similar to breaking down a big task into smaller, more manageable pieces. Finally, there's a shift in infrastructure requirements as well. Big Bang migration provides greater flexibility with infrastructure, allowing for some compromises. On the other hand, Phased migration with bulk synchronization requires more infrastructure since it involves the constant movement of a large amount of data. In our video series about data migration strategies, we explored four main strategies Big Bang data centric, Big Bang user centric, phased migration with manual synchronization, and phased migration with bulk synchronization. Let's take a closer look at these strategies and compare them based on factors like time complexity, risks, and more. Firstly, Big Bang data-centric migration is a quick and cost-effective way to transfer data. It doesn't require a lot of skilled people or complex infrastructure. However, it comes with some downsides, it's a bit risky, can cause significant downtime, and may not be ideal for handling large amounts of data. Next, the Big Bang user-centric approach breaks the move into two steps, that is data priming and delta data load. Although it takes more time, it is safer with less downtime. Yet, it's a bit more complex, costs a bit more, and requires experienced individuals compared to Big Bang data-centric migration. Moving on to phased migration with manual synchronization, this is a good choice if you have a lot of data and want to be cautious about risks and downtime. However, it takes more time, costs more, and demands skilled people and equipment compared to the Big Bang migration approach. 
Finally, phased migration with bulk synchronization has the least downtime, minimal risk, and can handle the most data. Nevertheless, it's more expensive, takes the most time, and requires a high level of skilled individuals and infrastructure. Each method has its pros and cons. Choosing the one that fits the requirement is always challenging no matter what we do to understand the suitability and effective. Migration projects are ever learning and arduous ones even for the experts as there is always some or the other new thing to learn almost every time. When choosing the best one for your needs, consider how quickly you need it, how much complexity you can handle, and how much risk or downtime you can tolerate, and most of all, involve the experts from the inception to lay a strong foundation and avert disasters in later phases. This concludes our series on data migration strategy. We hope it helps you select the right approach for your specific requirements and feel free to reach out to us for any assistance you need on your data migration projects. We provide services to these Siemens products and also, we developed our own smart port application to automate issue reports and resolution. Please visit our Team Center and NX helpline, which is free and open to all PLM community. Here you will get instant expert assistance, guidance and best practices for your organization. You can also email us on below mentioned email ID. Thank you for watching this video.